Jeez, man. A big thanks I hated for everything that just happened. God! <laughs> Fucking boomerang! God damn it! God! Fuck! What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, another Mario Kart 8 breakdown video. And today, I did a video a few days ago where myself and Tugs from the Geeks and Gamers team had a really awesome finish. And we had another awesome finish. Now, in this video, I recreated something that people said, oh, that was lucky, Jeremy. That was lucky. You can't do that again. Well, I did do it again, and let's take a look back at what I'm talking about so we have some proper context. Here's the last mushroom. I pull out the bomb. Perfect, perfect shortcut. Look at that angle. And then I decide I'm going to throw this bomb, and look at the beauty. Look at me drop the Tom Brady dime. And there's Tugs and all the simps. They're all cheering. They're like, oh, Tux is going to win. Tux is going to win. No, no, not quite. The beautiful angle, the beautiful throw, the beautiful placement. And all of the simps are like, Tux is going to win. We're going to make it rain. No, you're not. Because Big Daddy J showed up to the party. Okay, so now here we are back at Mario Kart watching me on Baby Park. So Baby Park is a track that was uh, remastered for Mario Kart 8. It was originally on the GameCube. Mario Kart Double Dash is the best Mario Kart in my opinion, but I do love Mario Kart 8. Now, this is the last lap of the race. Now, if you know this racetrack, it is a legitimate, just a little small circle. It's like a, it's like a slick track in real racing. And um, so here we are. I'm third. I hit Jacob, who was second, and coming around, I finally get the box, and look what I end up with. Now, this is going to the this is going to the last turn of the last lap. All right, last turn of the last lap. People said you can't do that again, Jeremy. You can't recreate that bomb throw. Not like that. That was all luck. Well, I give you this moment right here. Look at that throw. Now. Look at that. Adam as Mario is in the lead. Okay? Look at the ricochet. Boom! It ricochets off the fence. And it lands literally at the start-finish line. <laughs> and there's Adam. There's also a blue shell, just like last time. It explodes right there. And you can see how close. You can see how close he is. Look at the... <laughs> <laughs> and I spin across for the win. Now, again, one more time for the people in the back. All right, there's the throw right there. It ricochets. And <laughs> I mean, I can't I can't claim. I can't even claim that uh I can't claim that I meant to ricochet it like that. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it was awesome, man. And again, I love this game. I love breaking these down. Um, I love the, like, there is so much attention to detail with this game. So when you do watch these races back, you can see so much uh, attention to detail on these tracks from everything around. And so uh, it's great, man. Um, so good stuff. Adam is is great competition. He's one of the fans of the channel. Um, and, and this throw was, uh, yeah, it went great. It, it went great. Um, and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoy these breakdowns. I'm about to, we're about to go over to, um, a breakdown of a, uh, a race between myself and Andrew. Andrew is a writer for geeksandgamers.com and he streams with us occasionally. We're going to go to a breakdown where he and I had a really good race and, uh, we decided to do a video and break it down together. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you enjoy these videos. Um, I know they don't get a lot of traction, but they are fun to make. And I know you guys do enjoy these live streams. We do. So, uh, I'm going to talk it over to myself for another video. What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another Mario Kart 8 breakdown. I love doing these videos, and today I'm joined by Caffeinated Wolf Andrew from geeksandgamers.com. What's up, Andrew? What is going on, Jeremy? I'm happy to be here and looking forward to checking out this breakdown, doing commentary on it with you. Yeah, man. Um, you know, the last one I did, which we just talked about before uh, we hit record, was uh, was really good. You were involved with that one. And, you know, I was talking about the the chess match between you and me. 
in that race. Uh, and then uh, uh, luckily I came out on top on that one. But this time uh, the, the results were a little bit different. Um, but these breakdowns are really cool, man. But the the mind games involve Mario Kart. I mean, look, a lot of times there are no mind games. It's just a matter of who got the damn blue shell and the bullet and hit five red shells in the last lap. You know what I mean? But Or you just happen to have a star or a bullet when somebody pops off a lightning bolt. Yes, exactly. But this one was really good. So here you are. Uh, you run Rosalina with uh, what bike is that? That's the uh, I always call it the classic because it, it looks okay. like more like an old school bike. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I can't run the bikes on this game. I love them on Mario Kart Wii, um, but I can't. That's my setup here. You and me run the same tires. Those are good tires. Good for grip and speed. Mm -hmm. But um Right here in the beginning, I don't know if you remember this, but when I was watching the replay, I caught it right here where you hit Toxic Brute and Adam. <laughs> oh, the, the second, they were so close together. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to do both these fools dirty right now. <laughs> and I'm not going to feel bad about it. Not one bit. <laughs> oh, man. But but here quickly, like right there, that's me in the lead. You're second. Jacob's third. That looks like Ryan back there. But before the end of the first lap, you and me are pretty much uh, we've 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 separated ourselves from the pack. And at that point, you know, I start doing what I do. Um, I start, you know, um, doing the banana right in front of the, um, you know, the right double box. The boxes. Mm -hmm. So like, I get my first double box here. I don't realize you're behind me necessarily during this race until 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 it was too late. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god! But now Royal Raceway, I love this track. This is one of my favorite tracks. So I usually have a pretty good system here. So here is where the first banana hits, and you're, what are you thinking as you start seeing? Okay, this is what we're getting into because the lead between me and you is we're pretty we're pretty far ahead of everybody. So what are you thinking at this point? So just a few seconds before that that box set right there. I remember looking in my rear view and and also looking at the mini map and seeing Jeremy and I are already pretty decently far ahead of everybody else. And I, I think I'm going to keep this going. And so I could tell right from the start, you're already hitting all of your lines. And I, you just said it. This is one of your best tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And, and same here. It's not like my top one, but I, I know my lines on this. And I was hitting them and you were hitting them. So that's why we pulled so far ahead. But when you mm -hmm. drop that banana, I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> not today satan <laughs> so now i, I this, usually take that turn wide and, this and part me. this part if i'm not mistaken this part's what pissed me off because on the mini map i know i knew that damn blue shell was there here's me rewinding so i knew the blue shell was on the mini map so i threw the bomb hoping it would hit you you dodged the damn bomb and the blue shell this is where it all fucks up for me though I barely right dodged the bomb, too, by the way, because you, you threw it with good enough timing to where if I didn't get my drift to the side and I think it drifted off to the left because you had thrown it primarily on like the right side of that line. And I was like, all right, I, I cannot get hit by this. If I get hit by this, taking Jeremy down is going to be way harder than I want it to be. <laughs> and and there I saw that blue shell come. I'm like, all right, this is my moment. And there you hit me with the green shell after I get hit with the freaking blue shell and so at this point you have separated yourself pretty i need something at this point or i'm done mm -hmm. i'm mad i'm really mad <laughs> <laughs> yeah you were <laughs> you... <laughs> and so uh, this is one of those races that it really is cr it's crazy to have the top two run the whole entire race now i have those red shell i'm gonna throw it right before i hit the double box and I do, but the freaking lightning screwed everything up for me right there. That was now, bad lightning. Like, I, I was worried that you were going to be able to catch up after that lightning because it, it hit me pretty bad. But thankfully, you didn't. Here's where, like, okay, so there's a lot of things. There's a lot of scenarios that could have played out right here, okay? You have already gotten the double box, okay? Coming to the, to, to, coming to the checkered flag, you've already gotten the double box, all right? I don't know what you have. But I know that I was like, well, there's no way I'm going to get two red shells, you know, because I have nothing. Well, I got two red shells. And you got two red shells. And I'm like, yeah. So I get two red shells. I'm like, I got him. I got him. And so I throw the first one. I'm like, whatever he's got protecting him, I got him. And then the next one. And then I look up and you got a damn banana. 
boom and there's the finish right that there. that double box gave me a gr the, the golden green shell and banana combo when you're in first <laughs> place it the only way to get better than that is if it's one of those and a mega horn ah <sighs> so frustrating but it was I a was, good race i was worried at first though that you had gotten like a triple red shell and that's uncommon when you're in second place but i was like shoot if he mm -hmm. gets a triple red shell right now i can't stop a third Yep. Yep. You know, I felt good when I got the double because I'm like, he probably got a, a he probably got a shell and a coin. So that's right. What I was or a thinking. banana and a coin. That's the exactly. usual double box when you're in first place. Yep. And that's not how it worked out. But the beauty is, is I mean, you know, because Mario Kart, you know, I mean, look, there's been better finishes. But the thing I enjoyed most about this is, you know, we're racing online with a lot of people that are really good. And the odds of it being just a one versus one for the entire race or slim to none. You know that what I mean? Almost never happens. Mm -hmm. So that's what I liked about it. And um, I really, there was no BS involved. Honestly, I think I still would have beat you if you would not have hit me with that green shell after the blue shell. You know what I mean? That was the real difference in the race for me. Um, that was what screwed you bad. Yeah. Cause like here it is. So again, I've got a pretty good lead on you still. So I probably could have at least been neck and neck with you, but mm -hmm. you landing and throwing a perfect green shell, like you're right there, boom. I mean, perfect timing. Because you were in, I, you were also in the middle of a turn there. That wasn't just a straight from behind. Yeah, that's true. Oh man, I was so mad at that point in time right there. I was pissed. Yeah, I can see I'm slightly off to the side there. Pop. Oh, so damn mad. So damn mad. I don't um, usually use my green shells like that either. I, I almost exclusively hold them behind me. Yeah, yeah. That was more of an instinct thing. I think you just saw the opportunity. You're like, boom. Because the more you think about throwing a green shell, the worse the, they perform for you. So if like mm. if there's an instinct to just throw it really quick to somebody, a lot of times you can, you know, you can um, do some damage, which you did. You did substantial damage on me. But yeah, I mean, this is a really cool little thing, man. But, you know, if you guys do enjoy this, you know, please feel free to, you know, check us out on Twitch. Uh, you know, we play a lot of Mario Kart. We've been playing Rocket League some. Um, you know, we were playing Smash Bros, but I feel like Mario Kart and it's like the party style games outside. I mean, Smash is a party style game, but it doesn't pull the, it just doesn't have the same, you know, kind of um, energy as a Mario Kart or a Rocket League. So um, any final thoughts, Andrew? No, you know, there, I always am thankful when a race goes my way, but there are a few, <laughs> right? What, what, what are we going to say about that? But there are a few times where I'm like, I'm really pleased with that race because that was just, I was zoned. I was zoned mm -hmm. in that whole race and I knew that you were too. So it was, it was top tier neck and neck for the majority of it until yeah. I was able to pull away. Yeah, that's this is one track where I mean, if I can, con if I'm in control uh, of of things to an extent, then I can usually make up any ground. Um, I I wasn't able to do it this time around, though. Um, and like I said, I really think that 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 green shell ultimately on lap two is is what you know, won the race for you, uh, put you in a position to. I just couldn't overcome it. And, um, but yeah, it was good stuff, man. So, uh, I look forward to the next one. Me and you've had quite a few battles. Um, we have, we'll keep it going. And this is not gonna, it's not gonna end anytime soon. Yeah, so, uh, we're gonna have a hell freaking of a people. No, oh, fuck. Yeah, man. Y'all can take God. a long walk off a short dick. <laughs>Fun highlights here from Mario Kart 8 last night. Um, love this game. Love these replays. That is me as Metal Mario, and that is Ryan, Raging Ryan, in his me character, his stupid-looking me character. And uh, Ryan should have known better. He should have saw that red shell, but, you know, he does have two mushrooms, and he wanted to go ahead and take advantage of the situation. So... Uh, I love the attention to detail on this game when you watch the replays. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you look uh, at that tower right there that we're passing, there is actually a bird's nest up there, which is pretty cool. Uh, the attention to detail is fantastic. Anyway, um, there is Ryan with his mushrooms. And good job on Ryan for hitting the shortcut. He had enough momentum to where it didn't hurt him as badly as I wanted it to hurt him. But he takes the shortcut, he has uh, mushrooms, and so he's got so much speed that he's carrying, so I wanted to hit him with his red shell, 
<laughs> and make him fall. I didn't quite make him fall, um, but I did do some damage. So uh, he had uh, he had a fireball too. Um, but there's the hit right there, perfectly timed by me. And if he didn't have the speed from the mushrooms, it would have hurt him even worse. But you can see him screaming. <laughs> and uh, but he did. He had enough momentum to where uh, he still he still made the jump. Um, as you can see, he's behind me. He's uh, still got the fireballs. Um, I take the shortcut and get away from him, luckily, which was good for me. I believe this is the last lap. So we'll fast forward because this is the funniest part of the whole race uh, in terms of these, um, in terms of this replay right here. Something I noticed. Uh, I mean, I didn't have a good race at all. So there's, is that Ryan? Looks like Ryan. Yeah, Ryan hit me with a red shell, so really screwed me over. There's the blue shell. Um, now, this is where it's good right here. So, I get hit again, and now I've got mushrooms, okay? Now, I don't take this shortcut, but look at Mark! Look at Mark! Look at me screaming! This is Mark the Cyborg in his Tanuki suit, Mario. Look at him! He's like, Jeremy's, Jeremy's right there! Look at him screaming! Look at Tanuki Mario screaming to the heavens! He's like, I'm gonna crush Jeremy. I'm, I'm taking the boss out. So he hits me. We both spin. We both get a boost out of it. I think we're going to boost again. But little did I know, he had a star. And he turns the star on right there, right towards the end of that second hit. So he doesn't have it on yet. He's screaming. He's happy. Hits. Boom. Spin. Boom. Star. I mean, perfect timing by Mark. Damn it, Mark. Perfect timing, though. Um, and then that gives Drunk 3PO... As you can see right there, yes, that's Drunk 3PO. <laughs> that gives Drunk 3PO uh, the opportunity to have enough momentum. And Drunk 3PO passes me as well. So Mark the Cyborg and uh, Drunk 3PO team up on me. And uh, actually, I guess Ryan. Ryan actually gets credit for that as well. Because if you back it up to this point right here, Ryan hits me with... Or was it Ryan? Yeah, it's Ryan's ahead of me. So Ryan already hit me, and then Adam. Adam hit me with the super horn. Yeah, I got hit with every damn thing. Wow, that was a disaster for me. Like, I was in pretty good shape until these red shells hit me. And then, boom, red shell. Boom, another red shell. And then Ryan's on his way, and then Adam passes me. <laughs> then I get hit with a super horn. And then there it comes, Mark the Cyborg. <laughs> and then drunk 3po with the momentum to pass me anyway just another quick mario kart 8 highlight if you guys enjoy this please go subscribe follow us over on twitch also on gaming with geeks over on youtube we have a lot of fun with these we're gonna be playing different games as well um but i just love these mario kart replays they're great so, uh, shout out to Mark, shout out to Drunk3PO, Raging Ryan, and Adam, all for uh, taking me down. It was not fun. But anyway, talk to you guys later.